Dolly, if you think I am trying to exploit you, you couldn't be more wrong. I'm not totally sure what that means. Look, I wanted nothing to do with this cloning process until I saw you, until I saw how perfectly put together you were, how wonderful you are. Now you're just trying to butter me up. No, I'm telling you the truth. I am very, very impressed with you. I know now that when I clone Annie, she will be better than she was before, like you are superior to Reva. No, I'm not superior. Oh, yes, you are, because I know Reva very well. Can I ask you something, Alan? Ask me anything. Why should I trust you over Joshua? Why? Mm-hmm. I mean, he promised me that same kind of stuff, you know, a life full of happiness. <laughs> no, Dolly. Yes, no. he did. That's what he told no, me. No, Josh wants to keep you hidden away, keep you sheltered. I want to do the exact opposite of for you. I want to set you free, make you proud to be who you are. Because when I look at you, I see a wonderful future for both of us. Let's work together, Dolly. Can I really have anything I want? Anything your heart desires. And can it be bigger and better than anything Reva has? <laughs> of course it can. I suggest we have another glass of champagne to celebrate, is huh? Is it really expensive? Of course it is. Good. <laughs> I think I could get used to this. <laughs> Vicky sold him down the river. She betrayed him. She took his life work, and she used it for her own gain. And because of her greed, we lost a really, a really wonderful man. Not that I didn't let him slip through the cracks. What do you mean? Well, I just didn't really have much time for him in my life, did I? I keep thinking that... that if he had could have talk to me, then maybe you and I could have had some fun with him, talked about nice things in his life instead of helping to arrange for his... Look, come home with me. Hold your baby girl. And that's when I hold her and I look into her eyes, nothing else in the world matters. I can't right now. I want to hold on to some of this anger, because I'm going to need it. If I'm going to vindicate his memory, I'm going to need it. Matt. Okay, I'll, uh, uh, I'll go home then. Matt. Yeah. This is something that I have to do, and I promise you I'll be home early. I will. See ya. Mrs. Reardon? Yes? This just came for you. Oh, yes. Thank you. I've been waiting for that. Thanks. Okay, Alan. Let's see what you make of this. Now that I've seen what I thought I wanted, I don't want it anymore. Wait, where are you going? To see Alan. I'm quitting. Listen, I'm going to take care of this, all right? Take care, David. Well, Vicki, um, listen. Uh, what I said before about taking you out just to get the dirt on you for Josh? Yeah? Um, that wasn't exactly true. <laughs> listen, thanks for saving my life in that fire, OK? Hey, listen, no problem. You just take care of yourself, OK? Oh, I intend to, but first I'm going to deal with Alan. I'm not letting this one slide. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, you sure know how to shark people, Andrew. Why do you say that? I wonder. Because I admit that I want to have sex with you, Jesse. What's so shocking? I know what I want, okay? I am rich, I am smart, and I am great in the sack. Yes, I am. And you would know that if you'd hung around long enough. You're crazy. I know, I sound crazy. I am crazy about you, Jesse. And I would do anything to help you. Yeah, you would lie. Yes, I would lie. But I am not lying about the gallery owner. 
He believes in you. I believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself. It's a little hard to do, Drew. You went around bribing people to tell me that I have talent. But you do have talent, Jesse. That's, that's all nonsense. You do have it. Now you should use it and take it and, and become a star, like you want to become. Who said anything about me wanting to become a star? You don't have to say it. I can see fire inside of you. I know it. And all I want to do is make you happy, and it's all I think about. Well, stop, because I'm doing fine, all right? Well, you should be doing better. I will be. Put her aside for a minute, Jesse. Put her aside and tell me that you never think of me that way. What we shared, no matter how brief, it was something and it was hot. Remember? <sighs> Look, Drew, okay? You are very easy on the eyes. And you're a beautiful woman. But I'm in a committed relationship. Ew, committed relationship, Jesse? You sound like you're tied up in a straitjacket and there's no escape. I know the escape. Try me. Thank you. Now, are you turning on me here or what? No, no, but I am trying to get you to see reality. Blake still loves Ross. Now, granted, it's not the same kind of passionate love that you claim she has for you. Beth. But, and, and, and how about the fact that she is going to feel guilty when all of this is over? Why are you being such a naysayer here? Blake vouched for me when she sent Ross to jail. Now, we got very close that night. And Blake will remember everything that happened. And all these people that are trying to keep me away from her, that, that's not going to happen. Nobody's going to ruin this for us. Not even Sean McCullough. Excuse me? Who? Oh, Sean McCullough. He's a former client. A disgruntled former client. I represented his, his wife in a divorce case, and he got left with nothing and blames me. Imagine that. <clears throat> Imagine that. Anyway, it's a lot easier to blame someone else than to admit you failed on a marriage, isn't it? Yes, I suppose you're right. Anyway, <clears throat> he can try to stir up all the trouble he wants. It's no skin off my nose. Hey, the last thing you need to be is overconfident right now. You don't need a ghost from your past rising up to haunt you. I can't believe Ben Warren messed up your life, too. He tried. It's not messed up yet. Well, I hate the guy. If it weren't for him, my father wouldn't be in jail right now. So did he rape your father's wife or not? Yes, of course he did. He's just denying it. Trust me, the wrong man is behind bars. It's amazing how he always gets someone else to take the fall. The same deal with you? Yeah. Oh, he set me up beautifully. Used a law to his own advantage, pinned a crime on me, was never even committed. Same as Daddy. Same. I got him to agree to help exonerate me, but I don't trust him. Well, that makes two of us. I'm going to bury that guy. Well, you are? Mm-hmm. Really? How are you going to do that? The guy's like Teflon. Well, I have my ways. Well, it seems to me that you'd have a better shot at it if you had a partner. Oh, really? Who? You? We both want the same things. Mm. How do you imagine the dream team of the two of us would work out? You're an attractive woman. Oh, gee, thank you. Be still my heart. No, not my type, but attractive. And Ben is a ladies' man. I know where you're going with this. Forget it. He's my father's half-brother. Oh, that could be awkward. Yeah. Any more bright ideas? OK, then just make friends with him, then. Make him think that he's on your side. No, he'll never buy that. Well, he will if you make him. Look, you meet with him, wearing a wire. Get him to talk about all his old cases. You mean yours? That's right. Get him to admit what he did to me, and that can clear my name. Wear a wire, huh? We establish a history of deceit. I go into court, testify on Ross's behalf, giving evidence proving that Ben is more than capable of rape. What do you say, Dinah? You game? Not in this lifetime, pal. Dolly, life is sweet, and you are going to feast on it. <laughs> Who 
the hell is that? All right, I'm coming, I'm coming.